Okay, so this is case three. So this, we're, also, we're still talking about angles inside of a circle. And so this angle is inside the circle. If the vertex is inside the circle, but it's not the center. So you can kind of tell, and the way that you can really tell is the center, if it was the center, it would have a dot on it, like a big black dot. So you could see that it's the center. So this is not the center, so this is not central angles. So we have to have another little way to figure it. So what you do is, if the angle is inside the circle, and that's part of the sum, if the vertex is inside the circle, half the sum, so that's the first little verse. So basically what that means is, you will take this arc, Let's say that this arc is 80. I'm just kind of putting it out there. This arc over here, let's say, is 100. So if you want to figure out what the angles, and these two angles are going to be the same because they are called vertical angles, which was math 2, and we had some of that in the review at the beginning of um, virtual learning. So these are vertical angles, so they're going to be equal no matter what they are. And so if we wanted to figure out what that angle that is inside the circle, not the center, if we wanted to figure out what it is, we would take the two arcs. So we'd take 80 plus 100, ooh, and we divide it by 2. So 80, the 80 plus 100 is 180 divided by 2 gives me 90. So basically it's just the average of the two just like if you're doing grades you had an 80 and a 100 and they both counted the same points or percents you'd add them together and this little angle right here would be 90 degrees um now you could also find out what some of the other angles are which is also kind of good to know so if this is 90 degrees we know that this would also have to be 90 degrees because that is 180. That angle right there is 180. But these angles are not equal, so it is not a central angle. 